high crochets of the world finally the bag with the spiral uh, square uh, that I made as a matching set with the sunny hat spiral sunny hat so um, I worked with the, the uh, from uh, ice yarns you know uh, the, um, I am a reseller as you know and uh, you have the link below of the cotton that I used and what can I say uh, it's not um, so this particular cotton that I used it's beautiful it's I, I just love it but it has um, it hasn't so many um, colors that's why I am uh, I put a link of another cotton that is uh, also very very good high quality and it is to be worked with the same crochet hook so the weight of the yarn is the same and it has lots of colors actually lots of colors so you can choose from that one if you want to if you don't uh, find the um, right color the color that uh, that you like that you want in uh, the first one okay now i used about so for for the meshing set i used uh, you will need a uh, pack of the main color and maybe not very much maybe 100 grams but you have to buy you know one pack of the um, um, contrasting color so that's it i leave it to the tutorial hope you enjoy it now let's see how to work so you will need to join together eight um squares you already have the tutorial on the square and this is the bottom part of the um, bag i will show you how to join together the two parts because the rest it's it's here <laughs> that i will show you now and it's pretty easy to work. I am working with a contrasting color because as you've seen in the uh, presentation I wanted to make it a matching set with the sunny hat, spiral sunny hat. So we begin on one side or on the other side in between so into the joining stitch uh, in between the squares. We insert hook like this and we just join the yarn. We chain 3 for the first double crochet and we chain 4 for the chain 4 space 3 and 4. So actually we have a chain of 7. Now we skip directly into the first pico and we single crochet and chain 4. We go, so on the side we have four picots in the first one I already worked. I go into the next and single crochet into it, chain two, three, four. Oh no, no, no. I don't like when it's like this, so I just have to. Two, three, four. And just continue on into the next single crochet next pico so we have four picots and a four picots and again one two three four chain four go into the last pico and always chain four one two three and four and now in between as i said and as at the beginning in between the squares where we joined here the corners we actually insert hook and work a double crochet to have the same uh, length and one two three four and now into the first pico of the next square point chain four into the next pico chain four and so on one two three four into the next pico single crochet chain four two three four into the next pico single crochet one two three four and now we are again in between the 
squares where we double crochet. That's all. So we double crochet in between the square for the rest. It's exactly the same. I will complete the other side. The slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain seven, you know, and here we are. Now we want to begin with the very first uh, single crochet round. We will work in spiral, so we need also a marker. Chain one, insert hook into the third chain, beginning ch uh, of the beginning chain seven and single crochet. Then single crochet into each of your chain four, first chain four. So we will actually single crochet into each chain and then we will single crochet into the single crochet. And that would be all. So we just insert hook into each chain and single crochet and then uh, into this one too, even if it's so small there. And then into the single crochet and we continue on like this and into double crochet we single crochet into single crochet we single crochet and we single crochet into each of our chain four all around so into each stitch actually we we single crochet all around okay so I finished insert took into the single crochet and work the first single crochet of the next round so from here from the second row we just work in round and we just want to put the marker into the first single crochet so we will know that uh, this is the end and into the marker is the first single crochet of the pre of the next uh, round we will work like this for seven more rounds so I finished my eight rows rounds sorry and now i actually worked my first of the other set of eights with the uh, holes that i will put for the drawstring i put on one side and now i want to put on the other side but i want to uh, explain it to uh, you how i am working this so the idea now we began here where is the double crochet and then into the very first pico over the very first pico i will work my very first um chain two hole so skip to single crochet and chain two and it was here then over the very next pico i won't work it i will work two over the next two picots so i will actually skip one pico just single crochet and now it'll work over the next two picots, two uh, holes like this. Okay. Then on the other side, on the other, because we have this is over one, uh, over one um, square. On the other side, so over the next square, I will work, let's say, the same thing, but um, in the mirror. So I will begin with one, two, skip one, and into the next, over the next pico, the last pico, work another one. And this is what we have. We have one, then one, two, one, two, and one. So actually there are six on this side. And now I will go on the other side and I will actually have to work exactly the same number of uh, holes and how I am, how I will uh, do this, pretty easy. So I know that I have to work here one, then I will skip this. So this will be my very first hole on this side. This is why I am trying to go, this is my single crochet just to go, and this will be my first hole. Put a marker on. Okay, put the marker on like this. And single crochet to the marker. Single crochet to the marker, then chain two, skip two single crochets, one and two, and into the next just single crochet. And this is my first. Now I said I have to uh, skip one pico this one and then I have to work the next two uh, so uh, I skip one pick up these two okay now let's see where is the next it's here over this pico put the marker and again exactly the same thing single crochet to the marker chain to skip to single crochet uh, where you have the marker to create the next hole and that would be all so it's it's pretty easy and that I want I want to show you 
chain two, skip this one with the marker and the other one and single crochet and now exactly the same thing I have to work one more here over this one so this is the single crochet which means I will single crochet one two three three one two skip two this one with the marker and one more single crochet and like this okay now I will skip the double crochet and I have to work into this too okay so again the same thing let's see where it is more or less now this is the one just follow the line follow the line and the same single crochet to the marker a single crochet to the marker here we are and chain two one and now exactly the same thing where I have it it's here follow the line vertically and normally we must work three actually yes we work three in between because we worked three in between the other two picots it must be the same skip two and single crochet and now I will take off the marker I will we have to skip one picot and into this one we have to work so this is the single crochet line vertically line so let me just put the marker into it and here we are just ready almost ready with the round with the holes for the drawstring so it's easy nothing fancy no, nothing difficult just like this okay now again one two skip two single crochets and here we are with the last with the last single crochets one two three and four okay and I already worked all my um, holes and now what I want to do is uh, you can just continue on with seven more rounds uh, just like that or you can in, uh, increase six randomly so into the next round obvious that on this chain two you will just work two single crochet so you won't increase but randomly just increase six times in each of these seven rounds just to give you a nice effect of your bag if you want to it's not necessary okay so I am working on my border last round and I or, uh, I haven't uh, increased as increased as increased <laughs> as I said uh, before so I just went on with only five uh, rounds and this is my sixth so it's more than enough and I thought it would be just lovely to create this um, curly nice and curly uh, border with the last round worked like this working like this yarn over insert hook into the first single crochet and work three half double crochets into it into the next slip stitch and this is a sequence to repeat all around three half double crochets and one slip stitch let's go on one two three half double crochets and one slip stitch into the next three half double crochets two and three and slip stitch into the next then one two and three and slip stitch into the next 
and we just continue on exactly like this easy easy all around look at it so sweet I finished the border I am on the wrong side and uh, I am sewing the bottom now uh, to sew it it's just you go through both single crochet on one side on the other side and so it's something very easy to the end exactly like this I am working on the bottom let me just show you this is one side so I sew all and here I just fold and sew this part so this is what we have when we finish it and we just want to fold it like this okay fold and sew that's all like this and I want to fix in place here okay we are almost done here in the middle and then I will just go on and so uh, the parts so on one side and on the other side of the triangle just we can go out here somewhere I know it's it's a little bit strange and a little bit mm, difficult but it's the easiest way to create a nice okay now I will go out here in one of the gaps uh, yes I am the easiest way to create a perfect A perfect um, bottom okay for the bag now I will do the same on the other side let's cut the yarn and go on the other side just go back and forth a little bit with some stitches then cut the yarn so here it is can you see it it's just perfect now I will just put it here and we have it okay so it's pretty easy it's one of the easiest ways ways of working a nice bottom for your back okay uh, now what I want to do is to work my drawstring and I will be back to show you all the rest okay now I have my uh, line on here and what I want to do is to show you actually how to so first of all you have to put the mm, needles um, I can remember how the, the name of this but it's okay you understand me uh, so from the the external part okay because uh, when you sew you cannot take them away if they are on the external part you can take them away easily like this okay this is very important then let me show you how to sew if you don't know how to do this all the the thing uh, just let me know and I will uh, do a video only on this Thing. so how to cut it how to sew it how to put it on your bag and so on because it's not uh, it's not so difficult okay for this so actually how to uh, sew it on the on this side so uh, if you want to have a, a nice and smooth line so no one can see it okay 
Uh, let me show you how to do it. So this is what I want to do it now. I am working on this. So we take a little bit of the bag. We insert the needle like this. And then over actually when we, we came out with the needle we just take a little bit of the um, and we go on like this so it's not difficult but it takes time to do it so just take your time actually when you want to do this because you do it for good so it's okay it's like this and it's a perfect thing to do if you want to have a just perfect bag okay like this I will just go on all around and then as you can see I already put the drawstring on it's the 3d uh, Romanian cord macrame cord I have the video of it so I will just put the link below of this on this video so you can see where it is and you can work the drawstring too if you want to work it and the last but not least is the handle that I want to show you uh, what kind of handle I will put. Okay, and now, so as I finished my bag, almost finished, because now I just want to uh, put the handle and for this one I am working here. This will be, it's really, really nice. I really love it. It's interesting, something um, original, I think, and uh, it's not difficult, not easy. Let me tell you. Let me show you how to work it. To work it, you will need to chain four. Chain four. One, two, three, four, and. Work three single crochets into the this three one two and three and now from here we will chain twelve three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we turn we insert into the last single crochet that we have and we slip stitch into it then we turn our work like this with the yarn on the back side and we begin to work single crochets 16 single crochets all around the chain 12 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so we have it. Now we insert hook into the front loop of the last single crochet and the, this loop here and we slip stitch to join and we have to turn now I will show you how to turn your work so we have to turn like on the back side so actually when like this we are like this and we turn to the right so we finish here we turn like this okay fold this in front insert hook into the same single crochet where you where you just slip stitch and slip stitch again chain three for the first double crochet into the next single crochet work two double crochets and into the next single crochet 
work one and we uh, work the one double crochet now we have four double crochets with the chain three and we begin again three four five six seven eight nine and ten eleven twelve okay turn again on the front side insert took into the third chain of the beginning chain three of the chain three <laughs> of the previous row now turn with the yarn on the back and work your two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now again into these two loops insert hook and slip stitch to join we need to have as i said all the um the circles on one side only okay now we will turn so we have to remain with the yarn on the back like this so we don't turn we are like this we turn we, we don't want to turn like this and we have the yarn on the front okay so with the yarn on the back and the circle on the front we turn we insert hook again into the same uh, double crochet where we slip stitched and we slip stitch one more time chain three and we repeat all three more double crochets here we are and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve turn again insert hook into the third chain of the chain three and slip stitch to join turn with the yarn on the back and work 16 single crochets around the circle five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now we have them all all we need to do is to insert hook into the double crochet like this slip stitch to join and with the yarn on the back and and the circle on the front like this we turn exactly like this okay sorry with the yarn in front now yes because it's easier so it must be really easy to insert hook and slip stitch now chain three and work three more double crochets one two and three okay now we will repeat three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and slip stitch, slip stitch to join and work one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, and 16. Insert hook like this and slip stitch to join. Now again, the circle must be on the front side and the yarn we have to try to like this. No, it is not correct. So we just play until we 
yes, on the back. So, uh, one circle is, it must be on the back, because it is a little bit difficult to bring, bring it on the front. We insert hook into this, and into the next you will see will be on the front. So, slip stitch, chain 3. The important thing is to um, put it in a position to e that it's easy for you, it's comfortable for you to work the slip stitch and the chain 3 plus 4 double crochet. And another very important thing is all the rings here, the circles, the rings here must be on the front side. Okay, so on one side. Okay, uh, let's do it one more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and we turn and we work one like this. And we turn with the yarn on the back, this is for sure always yarn on the back, single crochet and 16 times, 3, 4, 5, of course you can 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 and 16 okay and slip stitch and now as I said we put the circle to the in to the front side so where we have all the circles and now as I said we have the yarn in front okay so one ring when we finish one ring we have the yarn in front when we finish the other one we have the yarn in back so that's it Okay, and we insert hook here, we slip stitch, we chain three, and work our three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and here we are. Now again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Turn into the third chain, slip stitch to join, turn with the back, with the yarn on the back and my thumb is snoring and work your 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, insert hook and slip stitch here, and we are like this fold with the yarn. Okay. I slip stitched, I turn, and now I have the yarn in back. Okay? And we slip stitch and we go on. Now, when we want to finish, I chain through, when we want to finish it, we have all the rings here. We insert the second through the first, and then the third to the second, and the fourth to the third, and so on. Okay? And to finish actually like this and to finish look at it like this uh, and to finish actually we will work two times the double crochet row so one two three and four one two three and again Oops, not into the first, from the second. One, two, three, and four. It's here. Okay. And now we are actually ready to 
finish so I will push the last through the second to last and we just have to slip stitch together to slip stitch together the parts of one two three four five six insert hook uh, chain one insert hook into the double crochet and into the slip stitch and into the single crochet sorry and slip stitch and we continue on into the next into the next and slip stitch into the single crochet into the double crochet and slip stitch and again the same thing into the single crochet into the third chain and slip stitch okay and we just finish it okay we begin it we finish it like this okay and actually I want to sew it on one side like this sew it even better here I don't know I'm not very sure for now but uh, you just you, you already seen the version the correct version okay that's it so hope you enjoy it's really a wonderful uh, I, I I might say it fancy uh, matching set a summer matching set with the hat sunny hat and the um, bag uh, they are really really beautiful together and uh, if you want to um, work them they are really so it works really so thank you for watching hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you enjoy my tutorials and if so don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video of mine and hit the bell uh, button so you will be notified uh, every time I am um, I upload a video a new video okay when you subscribe so hit the bell now one more thing if you want to visit my shop you can visit it it's the link below you have the link below of the um, cotton that I use but there is another cotton with the same qualities maybe better and it has much more colors so I will put the link below of that one too and it's just perfect for tapestry crochet too now because there will be uh, videos soon of uh, on tapestry crochet on my channel if you want to join my uh, community on facebook uh, my group on facebook uh, it's crochet with wana we are so very happy to have you there and um, uh, we would be so very happy to have you there and just uh, share projects that you work following my tutorials um, there are lots of ideas that you can take or you can give and so on so, um, okay, that's all. See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.